The recently launched Akara FP2 Presence Sensor is the highly anticipated successor to the Akara FP1, which unfortunately never reached Western audiences due to its Chinese region lock. However, with FP2, Akara has gone global and its packing some impressive upgrades that make it a top contender in the smart home automation market. In this video, we'll be going through the major changes on the Akara FP2 to help you decide whether you should go for it. The biggest change that has occurred is on the compatibility and regional side. As mentioned earlier, the Akara FP1 Presence Sensor is a Zigbee-based device that was designed to work with Akara's other smart home products. However, the device was region-locked to China, making it difficult for users outside of the country to use and integrate it into the smart home systems. To use the Akara FP1, users needed to have an Akara Hub or Gateway device which acts as a central hub for all of Akara's smart home products. Once the hub is set up, users can pair the FP1 with it and then use it to control other devices within their smart home system. Fortunately, the Akara FP2 has been designed to work with a wider range of devices and is now available globally. The FP2 supports both Zigbee and Bluetooth connectivity, making it much easier for users to integrate it into their smart home systems. Additionally, the FP2 features enhanced sensors and a sleek design which makes it much more appealing than its predecessor. One of the most significant improvements of the Akara FP2 Presence Sensor over its predecessor, the Akara FP1, is its detection range. While the FP1 had a maximum detection range of 5 meters, the FP2 has an impressive detection range of up to 8 meters. This means that the FP2 can detect movement from further away, making it ideal for larger rooms or areas where there is more distance between the sensor and the object it needs to detect. The increased detection range of the FP2 is due to its enhanced sensor capabilities which include a high-precision infrared sensor. This sensor is designed to detect even the slightest movements and changes in temperature, allowing the FP2 to accurately detect the presence of people or pets in a room. Additionally, the FP2 has a wide-angle detection range of up to 170 degrees which is an improvement over the FP1 detection angle of 120 degrees. This wider detection angle means that the FP2 can cover more area with fewer sensors, making it a more cost-effective option for sizable homeowners. Other notable changes that made their way on the Akara FP2 are voice control, improved battery backup, and an intelligent sensor that can be used to detect the level of ambient light in the room and adjust the brightness of connected lights accordingly. While the FP1 had a battery life of up to 2 years, the FP2 can last up to 3 years from a single charge. FP2 is compatible with both Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant, allowing users to control the sensor and the smart home devices using voice commands. The Akara FP2 with all of its awesomeness costs around $82.99 which is slightly higher than its predecessor. FP1 had a base price of less than $63 at launch and can now be grabbed for as much as $50. Ultimately, the choice between the Akara FP2 and Akara FP1 will depend on your specific needs and preferences. If you value the added features and benefits of the FP2 such as a longer detection range, dual mode connectivity, voice control, longer battery life, and a built-in light sensor, then the FP2 would be the better choice. However, if you require a more affordable option or if you only need the basic functionality of a Zigbee-based presence sensor, then the FP1 may be more of a suitable option for you. So that was all about the Akara FP2 versus Akara FP1 Presence Sensor. Thanks for watching this video. Like, comment and share with your friends if you found this video to be helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want more videos like this on your feed.